Hey folks, it's Jackie the Hot Tub Lady and welcome back to my channel. What we are doing today is we are going to purge the hot tub. I did ask you guys what you wanted to see next and what you wanted to see was how to purge a hot tub and your timing couldn't be any better. Stay tuned, I will be right back and we are going to show you all the tips and tricks on how to purge your hot tub. So hey guys, welcome back. I'm super excited you're here. And today's topic, we are going to ask the question, how do you purge a hot tub? Because this is something that you guys all have to do. You need to do it at least once a year and it's really important and your hot tub will run like it's brand new if you do this. But before we get into that, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell down below so that you can get all the information to help me help you become a happy hot tub owner. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Um, so let's just get into it right now so first things first on any hot tub mine is nasty um i actually i knew i was going to shoot this video and my salt system was burned up so it was time to get a new salt cell so in the process i thought well i'm just gonna let it go for a week until i have time to actually shoot this video and today's the day and my hot tub has um i've been missing it because i haven't been using the hot tub because it just hasn't been really good but first things first step number one is you want to kill the power so flip the breaker boxes if you have a two breaker system just left to right if you have a one breaker system just the one if it's a 110 unit just unplug it but you always want to kill the power first that's step number one I'll show some videos over here on how to do that step number two is to take the filters out and then I'll link a video up here on how to clean a filter but I mean you're gonna drain the hot tub and you're gonna clean it at this point it's gross so anyway, we're gonna pull those out. I am going to take those in and I'm gonna clean those. Again, I will link a video um, up here. So step number one, pull the filters out. So that's the most important step. Step number two, is you're actually gonna pour your purge in it. Now check your different manufacturers. The one I, I recommend most is um, something called uh, Spa Purge, it's by Natural Chemistry. That one is my favorite. Um, I am actually going to do a uh, beta test for someone here, so I'm not gonna give you the details on that, but we're gonna kind of see how that goes. But the process is the same, no matter whose purge you're using, you always wanna pull the filters out, and then you're gonna pour in the, the uh, purge, and then you're gonna let the jets run for about a half hour. Now, the one trick I will give you is that typically when you're purging your hot tub, you're cleaning out all these really gross lines and that'll actually stick to the side of the hot tub. So pretty important that you kinda, of, that first 15, 20 minutes of that, you wanna kinda of stick around and I'll show a video what happens with this. This is a new one, but um, what happens with this and then you just kind of want to bail that out and not let it stick to the side of the hot tub so i'm going to do this for you guys right now and then um i'll be back so hey guys i'm back and we are at my hot tub and we're going to see i got some icky stuff here and we had quite a bit of foam come out on this one again i am uh, beta testing a new purge for a friend of mine but all, t all tubs are gonna do this they're all gonna foam some of them more some of them less one of the things that you can do, which is kind of a cool feature, is you can actually take that, your filters, and you can actually have them soaking in that filter, or in that purge right now, and it'll help clean those filters, but you wanna take them, you just wanna put them in the body of the tub. They don't necessarily need to be in the filter compartment. You don't want it filtering all that, but you can just throw them in there, and then at that point, you need to clean them really good, but that's a good filter cleaner as well. But one of the things that I did wanna point out I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I did turn the uh, I did turn the waterfall feature on there. I don't know if I, that showed up there or not, but you do um, do want to have all your waterfall features open and everything so that you can get those lines cleaned out as well. But the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to turn the jets off. Now I'm going to. Uh, kill the power and again I'll put that video right up here on how to kill the power and then I'm going to take this super cool 
pump that I just bought on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. You guys, this will drain this hot tub in like 25 minutes. It is absolutely incredible. It's like $130, but it's worth every penny. At least my, my time's worth that much. So, um, But check that out, this guy here. I'm just going to unroll it and unplug it in, and I'm just going to set him right in the hot tub. I will kind of videotape that and speed that up for you guys, so you guys can see that. And then we're going to wipe it down. Pro tip. While this pump is still in there, then I'm going to take a garden hose and I'm going to hose it down while it's still draining. And I'm just going to leave that pump in there and keep going that way. You can always use a drain at the bottom of the hot tub. You guys, this, this is the bomb. This is what you need. So I will be back. <music> Okay, and then another little trick is, is you want to bail when you start getting down to the bottom of this, which you bail that all out and just kind of bail that to the middle. But the cool thing with this floater on here, if you just hold this up, then it starts running again and it'll drain that out real quickly. So that's a, another cool little trick that will help you out a lot when getting that hot tub drained really, really quickly. Okay guys, now you can see I'm filling the hot tub back up. Make sure you put the hose down that gray stand pipe so as it starts filling back up, it will go through the circulation pump and you can kind of see where it's coming in over there and over there. It's starting to fill back up. But when you're cleaning it, make sure you get up underneath the rim of the filter compartment. That is actually one of the areas that gets just the most broken. So make sure that you're cleaning that up as well. and. Yeah, now I'm just filling it back up and um, I hope this is helpful.